<laughs> yeah, hi, it's me, Invoice. Hi, I'm a VTuber. Nice to meet you all. Hi, you might think, oh yeah, I'm a it's just a VTuber. I'm not a fucking normal VTuber. I'm crazy as fuck. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to say today. Hi, first of all, before the video, yeah, uh, fucking subscribe, please. I mean, it's not too much, but it's less than 10% of people subscribe who watch my channel. And I want to get to a thousand, so YouTube can consider me like actually being something, not being just, you know, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's all for that. Let's go to the video. Uh, yeah, hi. It's me, Anik Voice. Yeah, I don't know how to use any any Vega shit nor anything like that. I cannot edit. I am stupid. Okay, okay. I am really dumb. Welcome to my world. So today we're going to do the No Man's Sky paper cut from Jimmy the Ross. Because, you know, I have a friend who actually played No Man's Sky. I was in the time where, you know, the shops like uh, We Buy and things like that and sh game here in Spain. It had been filled with no games, no Man Sky copies when they released because no one wanted to play them. Yeah, this is the same. Okay, pew 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 pew. Let's go. Let's go. This game is very satisfying. No Man's oh. Sky is the whitest game I have ever played. Or oh. is it? No. Nah. Worlds upon systems, <laughs> planets, exotic creatures, and police brutality, and it all what? on the procedurally generated selling point of being incredibly math-sized. To see they use math to remind you how futile your endeavors oh. are. This is my favorite existential crisis, <laughs> developed by a man with nerves of steel. Yeah. I can safely nah. say the war behind its development is literally more compelling than the war within the actual game. Taking oh. <laughs> alien protagonist must repair his starship, collect the periodic yeah. table, roast every creature, and venture forth what to do do the secrets of the metaverse, and boldly go where no man has skied before. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's a pretty. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck? It looks so ugly. Jesus, beginning where the game starts, we wake up in quite the days, and this place is mm. really cool. Well, actually, it's fucking freezing. It's like a bra moment, but without the ah. Uh. Yeah. We have to collect some basic materials for life support and hazard protection. Luckily, I freeze my hot water for oh. a while, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. <laughs> Uh, okay, Cortana, I get it. It's cold outside. You don't gotta keep yeah. reminding me. Just let it go. One of the first <laughs> let it go. digital experience is how massively enormous it is. So you're telling me that point A, point B, and every gold encrusted poop stock in between is accessible from the very start? <laughs> oh. As well as the bastard plants, there's also the yeah. animals flying across the sky. Some of them are even bigger than the others. I'm gonna call these ones the whale variants for right now. Whale variants. Journey. Oh, never mind. It's just my Fitbit acting up again. This thing is batshit insane. Oh. oh. Damn. This thing is batshit one it insane. I hate this game. No. I, I hate this game. their mutualistic relationship with the. Uh, Zelda fans. After enough time oh. passes, I discover an injured starship. With enough resources, I'm able to nurse it back to full health. Oh. Thus, the game's true nature is revealed. You go to sky! I go to sky, okay. So you had to do all that to get this shit. Now that was unexpected. The three-dimensional space you now occupy hmm. is dotted with these giant floating circles. Where the hell do they come up with these crazy ideas? Escaping the first planet's hmm. atmosphere, you start to get a grip on the game's actual size. A feat that took humanity thousands of years to accomplish <laughs> in Florida, no less, has been streamlined into a daily task. If days even mean anything at this point, each one yeah. more procedural than the last. The devs really pulled a Skyrim in this one. You see that mountain? That took someone five hours to create by hand. <laughs> oh. That, of course, I fib. It was 14 hours. The animals what? Too. So much care and passion was put into every one of God's creatures. With the terrain manipulator, you can dig a large chasm and go on a fun adventure. Be careful. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. This foss is for us. Us. Foss for I. Hyper Snorian planet. There. Because all the cold planets basically look the same. Welcome to the light, common, and subscribe planet. Oh. These are my top tier patrons. You should join them. Lifeless planet. 
What? Actually, not that right. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Cursor in the Middle of Fucking Nowhere Gaming. And today I'm gonna be building an abandoned shack. You can tell it's abandoned because of how much I'm gonna forget about it. After getting a yeah. the first solar system's personality, I have asked him to set up shop <laughs> on what seems to be the YouTube ambient mode planet. Let me know in the comments if you can still see the edge what? of the screen. This is like the stupidest feature. So you got a whispering egg. Oh, don't you Whispering egg? What? I'm whispering myself, quite frankly. Oh, oh. 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 Fuck, said this place was empty. I'm, I'm like a, a living eviction notice. After a small Oh. Time passes, my now ancient computer base tells me the coordinates of a local chevron. This is convenient because oh. I was running a bit low on gas. Gas station. What? I hate this channel. Among the giant yeah. circles scattered around the stars, each solar system contains a mechanical variation. We like to call these space balls. Inside the space balls, oh, <laughs> upgrades. We can buy items and upgrades with one of two inflatable currencies. The first oh. are units, which you can get pretty much everywhere. The second are nanites. They're like units, but for people who use Linux. The changing room station oh. lets you alter your appearance at will. No standard fee. Now you might think that there's a catch. Seems a little fishy, even a bit. Yeah. Nice. But I assure you. This machine has no downside except for the turbo cancer. The foreign regulation on interplanetary trade. Oh. But every station is a highly enforced do not feed the tweakers policy. Hey, yo, neighbor. Courteous consumer. Close friend. Could you, could you point me in the direction of one of those flash or exotic planets? Hell no, nah, bro. You're dead tweaking. I mean, look at that. They're just yeah. walking right through you. Hey, yo, dude, what's good? Oh, those are just my, those are just my poltergeists. Your what? What? Anomaly. What? Within the deep depths of the sky, an omnipresent Keter class anomaly can be summoned at your will. This big yellow black orb functions as a hub area where you can invest into further upgrades, go on and engage oh. in space missions. Yo, I found someone's base. Let me see if I could steal from it as a form of protection. Oh. You're gonna get, you're gonna get called for griefing, dude. Oh, you're right. Don't do it. I'm gonna report this as offensive. It's offending me that I can't take anything and converse with games. Oh. Oh. We also get to meet oh, the multiplayer! Deep lore creatures. I know they probably all have names, but I think it's funnier if I just refer to each of them as Glup Shudo. And this Glup is brings us to our beloved Catholic priest. Oh! Uh, actually, I'm Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. And our amazing film director, Polo. Guess what? What? Being a Town Squad is not just an action show. Uh -huh. They have uh -huh. their own two new theme songs. Whoa. What? A big ass house, a big ass car. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Shit, we go to NASA, man? Bro, that's insane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, we're, we're gonna use some science equipment and we're gonna have lots of science <laughs> words. Dude, that's freaking great. That's that's awesome. This is that's from awesome. outer space. If Deska Squad did not bring if they tried to take it, hey, so do you have. Yeah, no, I've got no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, got Yeah. The stars, and I want you to investigate. The things are not what they seem, and seem are not what they what. The fuck did you just not say? Me? The big circles in the sky. What? Unlined. I have a feeling it's due to space star ordering, an ancient species philosophy what? that explains why everyone thinks the universe revolves around them. I feel like I'm being called out. Okay. <laughs> so oh, see, it's very simple. Just chuck yourself into a black hole. I, what? Real? You can just die. <laughs> die now. Die now. <laughs> I've been sending out everyone who visits into those things. That sounds extremely. Wrong. <laughs> wait, wait, hear me out. Hear me out. It's really funny. I mean, it's okay. Just, the sneak attack squad associate offers us some coordinates to the nearest science YouTube channel to let us know oh. precisely what's going to happen next. We'll know that we're never going to escape and that our lives are pretty much everything's going to be fine. Oh. Now, I know that might have been a little confusing, so I prepared a quick presentation to portray how traveling through wormholes works. Okay, so basically, okay. You got one point right here, at one point in space, you got another one right here. So you take it and fold like a paper and. Oh, shit. In summary, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the Amber knows what my car looks like. To prevent these problematic circumstances from seeing the light of day, we have to locate a planet with ideal factors, but it won't be easy. We've already been to Iowa planets, empty barrel walls with little to no atmosphere. We have to be Ohio. For growing vegetables. I swear I'm doing this shit for the economy. But on the other yeah. end of the fun spectrum, we have. Extremist planets. <laughs> no! 
universe where bouts of hospitality are few and far between. Space is taken up by locations rife with danger. Better watch out, because there might be a mock speed wind gas giant lurking oh. in the neighborhood. Enter the extremist planets. These planets are where you're most likely to get caught in the rain with no pina coladas. Okay, oh. so we're out here in New Orleans 2005. And oh, oh, no! Objective has migrated from escaping the feds and finding Elysium to locating the nearest Waffle House. I will gladly <laughs> take a WWE Super Smackdown over this shit. Amidst the torrential oh. war, newly activated storm crystals litter the landscape. Collect as many as you can because these are worth a buttload of money. You can also oh. combine them with regular warp cells to make warp hyper cores, which give greater fuel for interstellar travel. That is, if you can last outside of your ship for longer than five seconds. There's like nothing left of you, dude. Oh, oh my oh. god. Uh, you were saying. <laughs> Horrendously close. What are you talking about? There's not a scratch on me. Oof. Oh, fire. Is this hell? Go, 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 go. This is easily the most immersive planet genre because it accurately simulates what my laptop feels like. Allegedly, this game is <laughs> but in stark contrast to where I live, I could not find any. So I have some storm chaser footage instead. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bosquillion planets out there in the Gigaverse. I think we can safely check these ones off on the list of uh, Sometimes throughout your travels, you'll come across these large freighters and have the opportunity oh. to speak to the captain. Yar, the ship's insurance claim is a lot higher than I purchased her for. Yar. So the captain yeah. generously gives me a free tank of gas and a lighter. This should definitely last us the whole trip. On the oh. planets, we can build new command centers and advanced mineral processing. This allows us to automate the creation of awesome substances such as. Okay. Blue. Like I told you, I'm doing this for the family. Oh, and can't forget about the frigate system where you can board your own adopted ships and send them out oh. on daring conquests. I'm the best leader. <laughs> Gotta get into that suicide mission grind set. I know for oh. a ambiguous at times, but at least I'll never have to face the consequences of my own act. Yeah. You got any idea how fast you were going? No, officer, it's high. How are you? Oh, now, listen. I'm just gonna need some, uh, some ID. Uh, let me check. Sir? This is a Rock Band 2 Circuit City gift card. With your name on it. You know, bribing an officer is illegal, right? <laughs> yeah, you mean. I feel just fine. Oh. Peaceful options run out, we must resort to violence. The recently overhauled ship combat system adds risk to the skies by filling it with feds and invaders who don't know a good deal when they see it. This uh. means that upgrading your arsenal with expensive lasers will be the only way to stop them from harassing your private domicile. I'll finger paint with your blood. Oh. oh god, I've never been no good at this police shit. I got that lawyer's disease. It attacks my white blood cells. What the After fuck? The binding of ASAC. I realized I should probably kick my tax evasion efforts into high gear. And no more no. to escape to then. So far, we've discovered plenty of meat planets. Even though some may roast us and hurt our feelings. This first song oh. called A World on Fire. Ah! <laughs> look at the excuse me, what planets? This is so weird, core dude. Hi highly strange step. Exactly. Yeah, this is Drax. Are we in Drax? To follow along with Bob Ross. Bro, I never should have smoked that shit. I, I can't <laughs> yeah. There ain't no happy little accidents around here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, oh, hi. hi. Friend. What? I wasn't oh! I would it's cute! I the Horizon Zero Don't. Number 14. No! Walker. What? <laughs> Actually, okay. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> 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 nah. I'm leaving before YouTube gets any bright ideas. Yeah. Phallic imagery neutralized. <laughs> oh! Oh! This is why we have a team for Chin. Mama body. This is a living creature moment. Quite organismic. <laughs> Very popular. Whoa. Shell City dead ahead. Sometimes really cool oh. shit happens. Like planets dimensionally merging into each other. Things are not quite right on the Y equals 2X planet. Look at that. It looks like two balls in a bomb. Deep into the yeah. Rock zone, we discover the room temperature planet. It feels... It feels correct. I, I can't tell where my skin ends and the air begins. Across the street, we have a Antonius oh. neighbor. The room temperature IQ planet. This is where all the dumbasses live. It's full of morons. Oh. The local flora, known as the chump trees, secrete a sticky sap that makes everything stupid. What a poor defense mechanism. I don't even feel anything. It would be so oh. awesome. It would be so cool. No! <laughs> No what? How lonely you 
you feel in this infinite vast universe. Just know that the Amazon Sentinel no! is watching you. Anything fun you <laughs> to accomplish comes prepackaged with narcs. Oh my god. Bite out of your crime casserole. But fortunately, they don't have any reinforcement. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. After a while, they summon this giant walker, and he is uh, pretty pissed off. He's pretty pissed oh. off after a few strategically placed shots. He goes down with ease. I am, uh, I I'm never jaywalking uh. again. Survivor <laughs> no. allows you to temporarily deactivate them by giving you the coordinates to the robot Kaba. I found the respawn point. Next up, we have the first Okay. Room. They replaced all the good food places with the bad ones. Following that, we have the great value. Oh. Atmosphere is full of savings. There's even these cool radio towers that feed you information oh. at your own existential expense. The problems have escaped the spawning point. Do you? Okay, so we got go left, go right, or transcend space. Uh, space time. Uh, the fun sounding one. You transcend space. Time. There is no winning or losing. Uh, Only infinite sadness. And this game over. I'll play this game anymore, man. Hold on, I can't believe it. Could, could this be? Oh, another <laughs> fucking cold <laughs> planet. I like it over here. We <laughs> more abrasive version. Uh, frozen hell. Oh, jeez, it's got like a lot of this liquid stuff. No. So guys, we did it. Wow. Water level. And distracting. How do fish even get any work done down here? We can easily traverse the liquid space in our submersible. I don't know why I was named Biggie Smalls. It was like that one. Biggie Smalls. I'm gonna kill all the fish in one hit. My moist critical chance is very high. <laughs> As an astronaut of the endless cosmos, we roll down deep into the ocean. Oh. Habitat. The abyss update adds a whole new <laughs> layer of explorative nightmares. Oh, hey there. Ah. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta make this okay. something that's totally actually in the game now. Subnautica, this is Subnautica all the way. On, it ran right in front of me. Okay, now I'm being oppressed. I can't believe they personally <laughs> generated so much effort into one planet. Oh. Uh, hi! <laughs> through that, you stupid idiot. Yeah, better watch out or big ocean's gonna attack you. This place is really cool and all, but I think it's about time we check out an even spookier zone. Migrating from the what? shoreline to the shaded citadel, we enter the creepy pasta planet. Welcome to the what? shadow realm. As you can see, this planet is light toast intolerant. Alright, I know I do the silly color correcting gag a lot, but this is just what the game decided to look like today. This yeah, so okay. Royalty free horror music in his background. Even the indigenous life forms are terrified. That's cute. D D Quadudovius. <laughs> These are like names that I would come up with. I found the churro subspecies. It looks like they're suffering. For real, I'm fairly certain I'm in the wrong place. It's been dark in here for like a long time. Do you know where I am? Do you know where we are? No, I'm fucking scared. This bizarrely dark planet is very special, as in it's in the top 15 planets that will make you scream. And number four will shock you. Oh. Hi. Why? Stop! This is the bordered planet. It's got like a frame around it. This is the breast cancer yeah. awareness planet. I got a free ribbon for visiting. Here's the oh. green tea planet. Only 99 cents per landing. A couple hours after drinking, we find the urinary tract planet. I am not all colors. Oh. I swear to God. Wait, what? What? Oh my God! What the? Best be on the lookout when exploring, because sometimes planets may be harboring an Alaskan tapeworm. Literally not even two seconds into landing. Oh my gosh. Oh. They aren't very aggressive, but I'm leaving anyway. That just looks painful. Yeah, I guess I'm pissed to meet you too. Luckily, yeah. we keep the giant worms on our idiot mobile. You know what they say, work harder, not smarter. <laughs> The starry night planet is so pretty, like it's one of my favorite areas. It's so breathtaking that Neil deGrasse Tyson just swooped in to tweet out several reasons oh. that isn't cool and you shouldn't be having fun. Once you've had your fill of scouring the galaxy for a planet that doesn't want to scramblize you, you can interact with the game's four main alien races. Mm. In the first race, you can even create yourself, along with oh. the base building options that give me a headache. Use your exocraft to speed through the various checkpoints. Let me know in the comments what your fastest time is. My record is oh. 13 seconds and 20 minutes. And <laughs> hour. I do plan on finishing. Ah, dude, those animals are so fucking funny. They make me want to murder. The second oh. race being the Viking, our proud yet brutish warrior race who like to challenge people to boxing matches over the internet and face p paint. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, uh, this uh, is racist. Barely clinging on to monetization, I PG-13 my way into a shelter so I could have a family-friendly interview with the uh, lobster-looking one. Question one: Are and, you a gamer? Uh, no. Oh, thank God. Although I do play this one game called Word Farm. Question two: Can your chair do this? 
<laughs> How the fuck are you doing that? David Blaine is my second cousin. Question. <laughs> Wait, you can't just switch. Who are you? And how did you get in my house? <sighs> Look, man, I'm doing two at once now. Just let me stay. I need this. Grifting on the world. Gek. Hello, interloper. It is I, your iconic frog tulpa. I offer plenty of merchandise. First ones on the house. After that, the rest are free. <laughs> Greedy. Bird. What? Gek have been in a cold war-like standoff with Corvax Prime for thousands of kilometer years. See, our tadpole spawning pool oh. coated with a Corvax virus in retaliation. Retaliation for maiming and conquering the entire universe. Uh, sounds oh. And then the robotically yeah, sounds really changed. Look at that cat. What? I'll drink it. But I don't wanna. Don't I don't consent to this. No, uh, back into space, oh. we discover a few anomalies like the giant alien contraceptive and the Stellaris colony. What the oh. fuck did you just say? And the intergalactic gaming PC. Ah, ah. Welcome to the Chapel of Acer. Yo, it's like that one scene from The Last Jedi. Are you sick? <laughs> Can I kill you? Hush, science fiction spouter. This is real life we're talking about. What? Now, head up to the data matrix terminals and input the 10 Atlas seeds to reroute the state phaser interface and grant power to the quantum uplink particle. Your proper nouns are dubious at best. <laughs> what exactly are you anyway? I are Atlas, god of the simulation, overseer of the situation, supervisor what? of the scenario, the big fucking orb floating in front of you. C can you like shorten it a little bit? The red yeah. jump scare. Okay, that's yeah, red jump scare. I have become Death Stranding, the destroyer of worlds. Collecting an entire plot's worth of materials, a plot that's essentially an unsatisfying visual novel, I start to reflect my overall oh. thoughts on the game as a whole. There's a lot of aspects that I missed, which I consider understandable. <laughs> have you seen the size of this bitch? But a lot of it I believe plays yeah. from experience firsthand. It's a very unique space exploration game, millions of times larger than even, uh, <sighs> necessary. It can be predictable oh. and formulaic at times. But considering how the developers brought it back from gamer exile, and have even pushed out like six updates since I started making this video, I'd say yeah. shoot it. I mean, give it a shot. For me though, I may have not found the perfect planet to seek refuge on, but at least I have a place that I can call a shithole. Oh yeah, the a shithole. <laughs> Still, I don't to say. I gotta say, by the way, who are the voices? I want to check. Yeah, you have the voices of this. Maxor, I knew I knew Maxor voice was there. Okay, I knew Maxor was there. Okay. I, I knew it. I I yes I just have to knew it. It was Maxor. It was Maxor's song. Uh it was Maxor's voice. Oh my god. Uh They have to say something about No Man's Sky. Play Outer Wilds. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to say. <laughs> Play Outer Wilds. At least it's more entertaining and you won't suffer as much. I mean, I mean, if you have me to choose between No Man's Sky or Outer Wilds, I'm going to go with Outer Wilds, even if you don't say so. Like, I mean, to play a half ass game, they have been patching it, like, all the way because, you know, they are fucking doing it wrong. To a game that is fucking amazing, I'm going to go fucking amazing. <laughs> Outer, Outer Wilds, uh, Outer Wilds is, is, is great. I will, I will recommend that, like, 10 out of 10, we'll buy it. Um, no Man's Sky, yeah, it's a game that I knew the memes of what happened when they came out, and it was a nightmare. Sorry, I have a thing in my eye. Ah, okay, yeah, that's better. It's, it's the tears I have when I see No Man's Sky. It's, oh, yeah, it's, it's my heart of a gamer dying. <laughs> so, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, you know, those things, yeah. I am not going to judge you. I am not going to be evil. I am going to say, take care, everyone. Uh, we are more than 500 subscribers. I'm so, so proud of you all. I'm really, really proud of you all. I will have to say many things. You are all amazing. You all deserve a chalky milk. Have a chalky milk and don't choke on the milk, please. Chalky milk, I mean chocolate milk. Don't choke on the milk. Please, I have someone who already choked on milk. I don't want to have any more blood in my hands. Okay? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, as a reminder, I usually stream at, six, at 4 p.m. here at the Peninsula uh, Chime in Spain. I don't know what the fuck time is your place. Fuck. As uh, you can see it on my channel. Uh, yeah, I'm a VTuber who streams video games. If you have a recommendation of games or reactions on anything, 
please remind me to tell me and tell me like comments or whatever i will always try to do my best because uh you have more culture than me i've been like for years uh stuck in a hole that i haven't seen many things because the only thing i ever seen was final fantasy 14 and that's all i have in my life and then i was like oh yeah there's more life than final fantasy 14. <laughs> who would have known that there was more life in final fantasy 14 and that was me so yeah uh thank you everyone for coming See you next stream, no, next stream, no, next video, next video, and I will do a stream today, I think, or oh, no, I don't know, whatever. Thank you, everyone, bye, ciao, ciao, take care, adiosito, don't die.